This is section 3.3, day two, and we're, today we're going to talk about how to actually prove lines are parallel. In the previous lesson, you just worked with the theorems a lot, just kind of deciding if lines were parallel and how you would kind of show that. And today we're going to actually do a couple of proofs about how to prove that lines are parallel. So you're going to be focused on those four theorems on your theorem card where they say if certain things happen, then the lines are parallel. Okay, that's where we're headed. So the first one says R is parallel to S, so I kind of want to mark that. Those are the two that are parallel, and 1 is equal to 3, so I'm going to mark that as well. I want to prove that P and Q are parallel. So I have to talk about two angles that touch P and Q, and also touch the same transversal. And the only ones that do that are 3 and 2. I can't use 1 and 2 because they touch 2, they only touch Q, and I need something to touch P and Q. So it's 3 and 2 that I'm after. So eventually I've got to talk about angles 3 and 2. So they start off with their given. And I can't talk about 3 and 2 right away. Even though I know they look like alternate interior angles, these are not parallel. So they're not for those guys. So I need to focus on these two. So these two lines are parallel. I can talk about 1 and 2 being equal because they are corresponding. So if parallel lines, then corresponding angles equal. Now I can mark that. So by default, with what I have so far, I can take out angle 1, and that means that 2 and 3 have to be equal. Substitution or transitive will work for this one. And then looking at what kind of angles 2 and 3 are, they're co-interior. So, I'm sorry, alternate interior. So as long as alternate interior angles are congruent, then my lines will be parallel. So I didn't talk about them to begin with. I kind of talked about what I had, and then my other parallel lines. Did a little bit of substitution, and then got alternate interior angles equal, so that means my lines are parallel. Next one. In this figure, let me zoom in a little bit. It says that angle 1 is 115, and angle 2 is 65. We want to prove that M and N are parallel to each other. So that's all my given. Sorry, take out property of equality. That's not what I meant. I just meant addition. And we know that if we took, oh, 65, this only says 6. Change that to a 65. So we know that if we were to add those two together, they would be my co-interior angles. So let's start with that. Let's say the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2. Sorry, 115 plus 65 equals 180. I was trying to make a jump too fast. So I'm adding two numbers together to get the third. I didn't add something to both sides, which is why it's not addition property of equality. I'm just adding two things together, which makes it addition. Now I'm going to say angle 1 and angle 2. So angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180. This is substitution. I took out the 115 and I put in angle 1. I took out the 65 and I put in angle 2. So I kind of substituted for them. If two angles are 180, then that also means that they are supplementary. So angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. And that's the definition of supplementary. Anytime you go from uh, numbers to words or words to numbers, you always want to be using the definition. And now that I have 1 and 2 being supplementary, I can say the lines are parallel because if co-interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. So it's one of the four you have on your sheet. Remember, you're, you're aiming for one of those four because you're trying to prove lines are parallel. So it's either going to be co-interior, co alternate interior, alternate exterior, or corresponding. Last one, this one's missing the angle 1, which belongs right there, if I remember right. Um, I think that's right. We're going to find out in a second. So in the figure, A and B are parallel, and they already marked it. They put those little triangles there. And then they say that angle 1 is equal to angle 3. So I'm going to mark those. I want to prove these two. So kind of like the same one as the front side. We're trying to prove that those other two lines are parallel. So first thing's given. That looks good. Um, looking at what I have now for information, I have these two parallel lines 
And I'm looking for a transversal that touches two different things. So this is the one I'm going to use. And I'm going to talk about angles one and two. And angles one and two are called alternate exterior angles. So I know that they are equal. If lines are parallel, then alternate exterior angles congruent. So again, I'm looking at these two guys, these two parallel lines. This is the transversal, so one and two are equal. Kind of like the last proof we did, then that means that two and three are equal by substitution or transitive. So now that I have these ones equal, these types of angles are alternate interior. So if alternate interior angles are congruent, then lines are parallel. So 2 and 3, they touch C and D, the two lines we're trying to prove are parallel, and they touch the same transversal. So they kind of have all the qualities we need in order to prove that those lines are parallel.